All right, so again, very, very, very similar to the lab. And I did this on purpose so that you would get my help in the lab and then you're on your own for the assignment. So assignment, three classes. Again, what I wanted you all to do is right click over here. I'm sorry, on the package, new Java class, athlete. All right. And this athlete has a name, a height, and a weight. So string name, string height, and int weight. Actually, I think height is a string here. So, and if you look at my directions, your class should have the following variables method. Your constructor method should accept height in inches and convert, convert it to feet and inches. Then set the class variable height to that new string. So basically, I wanted you all to take in inches. So for example, you would add 60 inches for the height. In your constructor, it would convert 60 inches to five foot zero inches and set height equal to that. Okay. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's create that constructor again, public. And it matches the name of your constructor. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, of your class. Then we take string name. I'm going to take an int height. Okay, int height. And then an int weight. All right. You see, I'm taking in an int height, but our class variable height is going to be a string. So the first thing I do is the name, this.name equals name and the weight this dot weight equals weight all right cool now for height we need to get the, the feet and the inches convert that to a string so in order to do that we would say um, int feet equals height divided by 12 right when you divide an integer by another integer, it's going to do the division and then take off anything that's on the remainder. So 61 divided by 12 would still equal 5. Right? It wouldn't equal 5 point whatever. To get that remainder, int inches equals height modulo 12. Modulo, which is really just the percent sign, gets us the remainder of dividing that by 12. So 61 divided by 12 would result in 1. Again, modulo gets us the remainder. Just simply dividing it by 12 gets us the whole number. If you will. Now we could say this dot height. We have the feet and the inches equals Feet, so five foot plus a single quotation mark. And I want to do this escape character plus inches plus a double quotation mark. So you notice I have this forward slash right here. Forward slash. Okay. That's called an escape character, and it tells Java, that the character that's following this, this escape character is a string, not a closing bracket. So for example, if I didn't have this escape character here, it would think I'm closing off this string right here. And this last one would give me an error, right? I can't have three of these in a row or it doesn't know where to end it. So you put an escape character and tell it that this quotation mark is actually part of the string. And there we go. Now we have our constructor. So we're going to do all of our get name, set name, get height, set height, get weight, set weight, all the same things that we did previously for the automobile car, uh, automobile class. So public, um, void, get name. We're going to return this dot name. This should be string, not void. And public void set name. 
string new name. We're going to set this dot name equal to new name public string get height return it again return this dot height and then we want to do the conversion again for our height so with the we're going to take in in the inches and then we're going to convert it to a string in new height so I could basically just copy and paste my code from up here. All right. And I'm going to use this right here, this right here. All right, height. Now we have to do our weight. Public int get weight. Return this dot weight. And then public void set weight. What is it? Int new weight. This dot weight equals new weight. And then our final method was our two string, which is I gave you the code. I missed the return statement. I apologize for that. And then of course these quotation marks are wrong. I don't know what I pressed. What the heck? Um, all right. And then we would be done. That would be our full athlete class. All right, that was your homework. Any questions about the homework, about the lab, anything relating to classes so far? Because again, what we're going to learn today builds upon everything that we've learned so far. So if you don't understand up to now, please let me know so I can get you up to speed. Uh, I had a question. All right, go ahead. So, so in uh, like for the athlete for the um height, I had did like pretty much all of that, but I did it in um the uh like I didn't know how to do it how you did it, so I created like one extra variable and then I did it all up in the uh two string is is that like a problem uh no that's not a problem if you did it in the two string and it prints out correctly that's fine the only thing is if i call your get height method will it return the inches um yeah yeah i think so yeah so that's the only thing if i call your get height method individually i would want it to print out six feet you know whatever But, so you see I'm using the same code twice right here, right? This is just for everyone. So I'm using the same code twice, right here and right here. So in order to avoid me making a mistake, because what if I had this code up here and it's slightly different than the code down here? In order to avoid making a mistake, I personally would create another method. I would create a private, which is what we'll talk about today, a private string, actually I'll do a private void, convert height. And, right. and then I would copy this code down here. That code right there, and instead of having to repeat this code everywhere, I would just call this method. I would just call convert height. And I would pass in whatever the parameter is up here. Same thing here. I would call convert height. And I'd pass in that parameter. So that's one way of doing it. Again, there are many different ways in programming. It's like writing a paper. It's unique to the programmer. It's however you feel is the best way of doing it. I choose to do it this way so I don't repeat code in multiple places in my program in order to avoid an error somewhere along the way. All right, any questions? No questions? <laughs>